and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of War Mother's Tiana. This is our ramp deck that's trying to go very big. We're using uh, Mobilize and Catalyst of Aeons to ramp up to our top end of having T uh, Triple Tiana, and so that's why we're naming it the Tiana deck. Um, whenever we summon Tiana, we get to rally, and that's that's key that it's summoning so that War Mother's Call, whenever uh, it comes into play off War Mother's Call, we get to um, get that trigger. Uh, we also have She Who Wanders at the top end, which is really powerful. But basically, what we're trying to do here is uh, play like Callist of Aeons on turn three every single game, so that turn four we can start playing five drops, because that's that's really what our deck's about. It's like five drop the deck. We have Hearthguard. Um, Garen, Radiant Guardian, Swiftwing Lancer. So we have four awesome five drops. So we're trying to use um, Catalyst, but then also Mobilize. And uh, we were just talking about this where Mobilize, you get to use spell mana to cast Mobilize, but then um, reduce the cost of your, of your allies in hand so that you're basically using your spell mana to cast your allies, if you kind of think of it that way. As long as you have three allies in hand that you get to cast, then uh, your mobilize did its job, and if you have more than that, then it's just uh, adding in. But the last time we played this deck, it was it was fun to play, but we were losing a lot of games, but we were losing them closely. So I made I made two changes. One at the top end, we had two Trindomirs and an icy Yeti, and I got rid of those. And instead, we're going to go with Anivia. I think Anivia will work better with this and works great with War Mother's Call. Um, helps uh, clear the battlefield, and and uh, you know it's just it's just a great card. I really like Anivia. So we're going to try those out. And it, it also doesn't cost eight mana like Trindomir. I didn't like how Ground Guard and Trindomir both cost eight mana. And then Crown Guard could be really good with Anivia anyway. Of like if you get to attack with Anivia and then uh, play a Crown Guard and then rally and then attack again, you can get like those multiple attack triggers and stuff. So we're gonna try that. And then um, we had an extra four drop in here, the Silverwing uh, Challengers. <clears throat> Taking those out for Mage Seeker Conservator. I wanted another really cheap card. And I think this works perfectly with Catalyst. Like on turn three, if we want to cast Catalyst, we'll have six mana total. And so we could have one extra mana for, um, a, you know, an ally to play. Definitely thought about playing Omen Hawk, but decided to go with Conservator because whenever this thing dies, uh, we get a six plus cost spell in hand. So we can get like a really impactful spell. And that's what our deck, our deck wants to get really big, impactful stuff anyway. So you know, like we can maybe hit like ruination or you know other things that are expensive spells and if we're ramping and trying to play a, a late game anyway expensive spells sounds like a good thing to have in hand all right so with those changes let's try out the new war mothers tiana and see if we can improve upon our record last time we went uh one and four but um, our deck was pretty close so let's let's see how this goes Let's see how Anivia plays. All right, two mobilizes, two units, two things. Uh, I kind of want to just keep this. Just kind of want to see what happens. <clears throat> so obviously, I want to just draw allies right now, especially the five mana allies. How we have the twelve five mana allies, I want to draw like two of those right now. Uh, okay, or an eight drop. Or a 10 drop. We don't need to play it right now. We get, you know, we get to bank the spell mana. Alright, and I can wait till next turn to play the other one by banking the spell mana. This has the opportunity to save us a lot of mana. Uh, she Who Wanders is awesome here. Obliterate all followers. So as you see, Obliterate says completely removed from the game does not cause last breath to be uh, to happen. So we need to keep... So we really want this thing to be under a 4-4. Four four. Hmm... So Hearthguard or Lancer? If I, if I do like that, then Anivia, then Crown Guard. Maybe we don't even play Anivia right away. I 
I mean, you know me, I really want to play the hearth card, but we'll go with this. I hope they don't kill that 4-4 again. They can kill the T2 some. We need three more turns before we can play this. Can we survive for three more turns? And can they stop killing their own undying? It's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be an interesting turn, whether... I don't know if I'm avalanching, I don't know if I'm playing Crown Guard. That, that was, you know, I... <clears throat> thought it was about a 50-50 shot whether they would make that block or not. I, you know, that, that block makes my avalanche worse, obviously. Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there for him. Allies, answer my call. Oh, good. Uh, that's so annoying. That Warden's Prey. Chump block. Where are we at? We're at three out of six. Alright, that was our first sub of the day. That's awesome. Thank you so much there, Form. Fall before Demacia. Just leave me alone! So Thresh is at four out of six. Not quite taking lethal. It's close, but not quite. Oh, actually, never mind. I am taking lethal. Never mind, because the Thresh has Challenger too. Yeah, they just attack out. I, I lose. And they just Challenger both my things. Never mind.
yeah, so I, I don't know why I played the Tiana then, because I needed to change. Once once they remittered and got that 5-4 challenger, I needed to kind of change my game plan. I don't know what my game plan would have been. I guess my game plan was Anivia attack, kill the Thrash. Oh, all right. Well, there's not going for lethal. You chose poorly. That's good. Well, I probably should have lost that. Save Thresh. Win the game, save Thresh. Gotta save that Thresh. Alright, this could be epic. Could be epic. I don't want to see Glimpse Beyond. Yes, no Glimpse Beyond. Epic. I mean, that's what that's what it tells me. It's an epic. That was awesome. All right, so those things are gone. They gone. Uh, they had a rekindler in hand. Yeah, get rid of that. And then also a warden's prey and a zonite Ur urchin. Urchin. Yeah, get rid of that rekindler also. They could have had lethal, they could have just attacked. They didn't do it. No Kind of expecting ruination. That's not as bad as ruination. <laughs> yeah, the real question is is he willing to lose to save Thresh? Didn't want to win to save Thresh, were they willing to lose to save Thresh? This is tough. I, I would like to cast War Mother's Call. That would be really cool. But it's probably better just to play the Tiana Crown Guard and Rally. Hold nothing back. And if they go wide, I'll cast the Avalanche. If not, we'll just attack. Oh, 
heal an enemy follower this round. Gross. Hmm. Gross. I'll just pass. Yeah, they attack in there. A waste of my time. Which we gotta block. Yeah. Alright, well if Avalanche killed the T2. Now they block Tiana Fall before Demacia. here. Then if they still don't have anything, which it doesn't seem like they do, I can just untap and attack. And Tiana finishes this out. Man, I just want to cast War Mother's Call, though. You are but unlike the opponent, we're going to go for lethal when we have it. Okay, okay. So go to five. Still take seven. Victory, one and oh. All they had to do was attack. That's all they had to do. Karma Ezreal. So we're going to get rid of Avalanche, get rid of Anivia, get rid of single combat for now. We'll just keep the Sentry. Those are probably cards I'd be mulliganing again. Definitely the Avalanche. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like the uh, Catalyst. Get the ramp going. That's the card we want to draw. Catalyst of Aeons. These old eyes still see far. If we had Catalyst of Aeons in hand, I would not be Watch playing Sentry. But we don't have it in hand. So we're playing Sentry. Because if we had it in hand, then next turn we'd play Catalyst, and then we'd start playing all these five drops. Hmm. Now they can go straight to combat. Check out the goods on this one. Yoink. We'll make all these things cost four. I could wait it I could wait till next turn to play it, but then I, I would basically use this one mana that we can have for later. Um they got Our strength is yours. They got one spell mana from me. Or they got one spell from me, and I hope that that spell that they got was uh, was Avalanche. So what what could they have gotten? They could I have five spells. So they either got single combat, mobilize, avalanche, catalyst, or war mother's call. They have one of those cards in their deck. I don't want to attack. They block with the 4-3, use removal spell on Hearth Guard, and then hit me again with another pickpocket. nice to play Garen. I feel like it's the best to get these hearth cards and play as early as possible. Yeah, good thing we didn't play Garen.
Yeah, nine nine. Many tribes under one banner. Make them bigger. Really good. See, this is why this conservator is good. You know, if we would have had the four mana put the two two ones into play, we're basically never playing that card. Here we get just a nice little blocker. Or we can just get a one mana four four. I'll do what must be done. One mana four four could be pretty good. Um, and I think that's what we play. Take a look at this. Thanks, it Super Monkey. Time. Thank you. Oh. You'll go no farther. Hmm. Oh. Search then. What do we get? Ruination. I fight for the fallen. That can certainly be useful. That can be useful. Why would she who she who wanders doesn't do anything to champions? By the way, this is only followers. She who wanders doesn't doesn't really it's not very good in this matchup. Doesn't take out Ezreal or Karma. Today we fight as one. Time to get my hands dirty. I don't want to cast the Avalanche, but you know, it just kills my Hearth Guard also. So this gives us the ability to play the, the Crown Guard post combat. Yeah, it would, it would be a, yeah, it would be amazing if it would get Ezreal and Karma, but it does not. Dang. Your end is my duty. We're running out of time. Gotta do something. Two mystic shots. That's pretty cute play. They're you know killing their own thing so I don't gain five life using a mystic shot for that. It's a pretty cute play. We'll see how that holds up whenever we get to rally. I assume they don't have William. So I figure if they had William, they would have just bounced Radiant Guardian to begin with. Nine ninety on a Vanish the unworthy. Dude, Tiana, sweet. Just play a nine nine that deals fourteen to them and we gain five life. It's basically what just happened there. Sounds dangerous. 
dangerous. I'm in. <laughs> hmm. I could see them playing Karma also. And if they play Karma also, then I'm going to Ruination. Maybe I should just be playing the Lancer and not worrying about it. No, I feel like I feel like if they play Karma, I need Ruination. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I'm worried that if I don't play this, if I if I have them Mystic Shot first, then then uh, they just won't play anything. Firing. All right, so it looks like they have another Ezreal because they care about getting that in. Could have been overthinking it, but I feel like I feel like we may have, like we were probably just gonna lose if I didn't do that. Um, I have two ways to win, huh? Do I want with Do I want to win with pack mentality or Garen? We have two ways to win. Um, pack mentality is kind of cool. We play Garen all the time. Don't play pack mentality too much. Oh, there wasn't like a cool animation for pack mentality. Two and zero. Oh, that Tiana, that Tiana really won that game. And then also the ruination. That's that's exactly why I put um, Mage Seeker Conservatory in this deck. That was you know I, I like that was the first card I mentioned. You can get ruinations. That ruination was clutch. This is a one mana four four. Yeah, I've, I basically just switched games, Jojen Reed. Yeah, take it take an extended break, but I'm not not sure if I'll go back or not. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, this hand's interesting. Trindomir Thresh means going wide with spiders and stuff. Probably. Let's get rid of these cards and this. And keep mobilize. Get rid of mobilize. All right, keeping these two. Yeah, I've just really en enjoyed Legends of Runeterra. This I uh, recommend really recommend checking out this game. I think this has just a, been a, a more enjoyable game to play. I uh, wrote about that a few months ago. A couple months ago. They're out there. I'll spot them. Uh, yeah, we'll just. In Avarosa's name! We'll just take this. Okay, so we double mobilize, play free sentry. We're certainly casting one mobilize.
And then I'll play one mana sentry. If I do that, the next turn we'll have six total mana. So I'll be able to mobilize and Garen. Or mobilize and Lancer. So that's good. So playing the sentry first, because before this, because we get our draw step, and then also the sentry trades, and so we get to see what that card's gonna be. And so that combination, you know, we can have two extra cards here, so potentially two more units or allies. To draw, but Alright, we'll just play. We'll just play Garen. Should make attacking kind of difficult. see what they do before I decide if I want to attack with Garen or not. Nah. Don't want to risk. You know, attacking in, they use Grasp the Undying or whatever. Um. <clears throat> I liked how they wasted all that mana. What's that noise? Hmm. The She Who Wanderer should be pretty decent. Can we, like, not kill these sentries and stuff before she who wanders? Comes down. Maybe, maybe not. That's probably not. <sighs> I don't want to let them draw a bunch of cards, but... I want to get use out of my cards, too. Nothing escapes my watch. Recite protect me. I could be walking into a ruination. Look out for reavers. Ready the torches. All right, so it looks like they're gonna they're gonna have a vile feast or withering whale. Looks like that's their plan. Light the signal fire. Yeah, try yeah, try this game out, Judge, Judge and Reed. Um later on I fight for the fallen. Later on this month, the the 28th to the 30th, uh, it will be it's going to that's when that's the release date. I guess like the the 28th is the release date where we're going to have a, a brand new set also and then on the 30th it will be released on mobile. So you'll be able to play on mobile also. Um they since I since I wrote that also they've really increased the rewards that you get for each um, 
that, that you get for each week for playing each week and and so if you just play a good amount you're you you do not have to really invest money into the game you can build your collection without spending money I'm not sure, Blade. I'm not sure. I'll never yield. Possibly. In theory, I'd like to write more, but in practice, I... I'm not good at spending time writing. I don't think I need to harsh winds. I think I'm going to be playing this Tiana. If we play this Tiana, we'd have five mana left as far as spells go, we'd, which doesn't really help. a lot of resources on this Trindamere. So I rally, attack with both again. They have Trindamere trade with something else. I think that's my best option. Other options don't sound too appealing. I shall lead the way. And I might as well trade with the 7-7 seven, seven instead of the 8-8. Eight, eight. Protect the throne. They're out there. I'll spot them. We can Lancer and Guardian, but we're not gonna have anything die. So let's get this Nivea in play. A new era begins! I wonder what those last three cards are that they just didn't play. Or I guess last four cards were that they had in hand last turn they just didn't play. Presumably they just drew the sentry this turn because they presumably they would have just played it last turn if they had it. I what those cards were. It must not have been any good. Alright, War Mother's Tiana, 3-0. Certainly a lot better than last time. I think the changes that made to the deck in between here, I think these changes have really helped out a lot. Um, even if we go three and two, that's still a, a big, a big improvement on one and four that we went last time. Oh, don't tell me it's Karma Ezreal again. No, I don't want to face Karma Ezreal. I think this is the same person, Karma Ezreal from earlier. If not from from this game, from the standalone mid range, just recognize the name. Well, those are all gone. Hmm. No ramp for now. See the Devastian border from here. For the homestead. No ramp. The order rewards its faithful. These old eyes still see far and clear. Safeguard our homes. 
It's unfortunate. Without any ramp, you know, we just get have nothing on turn four. It's unfortunate. Let's play this thing. So they don't keep attacking me with those. Sure. That sounds fine. Get a deny out of their hand. Like that. I will play my part. Because we're not truly behind right now. We get our attack in first before they do. If they want to drop karma, we have the single combat still. Saved it. They don't want to just use it on these. We'll bring peace to Look at that. Smart. Whatever the cost. Good call saving it. Alright. Um so if I play single combat, we level up Garen. But then I can't the problem is then I don't get to play anything else because then I just have four mana. If I don't do it, we get to replay Garen or play Hearth Garden. I guess we probably just replay Garen. I think we're supposed to replay Garen. We fight for those who cannot. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's just too much probably just to lose the turn. Light falls. Finally you show up Catalyst of Aeons. A little late here, bud. A little late. That's a pretty good draw. For the homestead. Yeah, that's a pretty good draw. Gee, this Tiana has been nice. Hi, uh, Stop on me. What's that you got there? Arr, excuse you! Yeah, I can force deny? What? With what? Like judgment? No, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna crown guard post combat and attack again. my play. 8 mana, 8-8 eight, eight rally. Patience and virtue are the true swordsman. Well, that certainly hurt. That certainly hurt my play. But no, I, I have eleven mana. I can't. I can't cast War Mother's Call. Your sister were more like you. Yeah, that, 
that Yone hurt. <clears throat> of course, they could have played the Yone right after I Tiana'd. As well. Do not interfere. I need to try to save this for an Ezreal. Maybe. Ezreal's at 3 out of 8, so not, not really flipping. I don't have the mana for War Mother's Call now. They cannot hide. Really? We had two puff caps on one card? If only your sister were more like you. She will find her way. I feel like this Heal Your Nexus 3 part of Catalyst of Aeons may end up being very clutch. Should be a, I should be putting this the other way, but well. Yeah, no, because they go life steal the karma. Ugh, should be doing it the other way. With the twos in front. The two the two should be hitting first. Well, that's all I got. Dang. Alright, so it's the single combat play cost me that game. Single combating. Get rid of the two. I was, I was basically just scared of, of the direct damage, you know, scared of them hitting for four. But I mean, I could use the single combat the next turn anyway, but then they could have like the bounce and they're not going to have all of that. So yeah, the, the single combat play called me. It was, yeah, it was a close call. But they had, you know, the karma and then, then burn spells and... Like, if I don't, if I don't use it there, like, how do they kill me? They, like, hit me for, like, they just go straight to combat and attack. And then, like, what do I do if they go straight to combat and attack? Like, I'm probably just cast the single combat, right? Like, I probably just don't take the four damage when I'm at ten. Uh, you know, essentially thirteen. Maybe I do, because like that's what they would have done, is go straight to combat. <clears throat> and then it, like if I would have tried to use like single combat then, 
all my other creatures were like kind of small they could have like killed them I don't know that was that was a tough call but that was exactly the problem with using the single combat is if they had a second karma plus the burn spells to flip that was tough all right looks like we got a war mother's mirror I want ramp Catalyst. I want Ramp and War Mother's Call. None of those first cards were Ramp or War Mother's Call. That was really close. Both both games against um, Karma Ez were really close. We got one, we lost one. Kind of surprising we have no 5 drops, though. We have the 12 5 drops in our deck. We don't have a single one to play next turn. I'll take another Catalyst of Aeons. Nothing escapes my wife. Hold on to the mobilize. This isn't a very good mobilize. Safeguard our homes. Um. Dun -dun -dun. For justice, for Demacia. I'll be able to play the Crown Guard next turn. I cannot be sated. Hold nothing back. You have a three seven? Well, I got I have a seven seven. And mine's tough. I should, I should maybe just fight this and then play this. Okay, well, glad we're not fighting it. That seems like a pretty bad block. Is that just me? For the homestead. I mean, unless your plan's like ruination the next turn. Is that vengeance? What are they doing with that block? Protect the throne. That was a really bad block. Like they didn't even get to gain three life. They only gained two up to twenty. All right, well we got the call. Hope they don't have the call. No, no, no. Darn it. They have the call. Our strength is yours. We went from pretty certain of us winning since we had call to coin flip now because we both have call. So 50 50. We both had cattle, one catalyst, These one call. Still see far and clear. Take a look. All right. Admittedly, they're hitting a little better. I will admit they are hitting a little better. Yeah, I understand. I can't. I can't play she who wanders. I 
am I doing even trying to cast that? Not even worth it at all. I don't even know what I was doing trying to cast that thing in the first place. Trade single combat for another thing. Man, why do you get your hearth guards? I want my hearth guards. Ooh. No. No. game's crazy. Do I attack with the 7-7? Seven, seven? No hesitation. Yeah, no hesitation. good getting your hearth guards first. It's probably good hitting your hearth guards first. But how does this game end? This ends with us losing? Dark water skirt. to the right. end with us getting milled out. Guard. I need you in play. The war mother will unite there us you all. are. The spirit of winter awaits. Stand together. Uh, that blocks there. Blocks here. Stay back. Hmm. Stand and defend. Um. 
Oh, this isn't gonna work out as well as I thought it would. This is not gonna work out nearly as well as I thought it would. But I, I ran out of time. I was thinking, I was thinking like the, the the ground guard was just gonna die to these things. Now I realize that it's not gonna die to these things. Uh. Yeah, I'll just let this happen. Man, this thing's not even gonna survive. That was really dumb to target this. I, I just kind of ran out of time and panicked and, and changed course. Like, that was a really dumb thing to target. We could at least save five life. Over here. Yeah, that was a really dumb thing to target. This is not a good turn. Yeah, this is, this is just a really dumb turn altogether. Um... All right, well, my avalanche play isn't going to work. Our strength is yours. The Frail Yord is a cycle of death and That was really birth. dumb. Ha! And the Frail Yord is truly my home. Yeah, get out of here, 610 Soul Gorger. What you get for having too many too many cards? I was hoping to hit another Anivia. Because we shuffled, you know, we shuffled one back. Alright, well. We can just go ahead and attack, I suppose. 12 mana. We're doing playing this. This. No, wind and ice. This is our homeland. I protect this place. This monster. I will endure. I don't have, I don't have too much of a plan. Pack mentality. That would have been great last turn. That will be great this next turn if we can stay alive. I need to draw... I need to draw an Anivia. Hour. I shall lead the way. Very all in snow. Basically. The chill before the storm. I wish I had these She Who Wanders just in my deck that I could grab as 10-10s. As 
is our time. Did not draw Let Nivea. I will end this here. Hold back the darkness. This is me going to zero. Zero's not cool. I only have eight cards left. They got 12. I'm closer to ducking first. Going to negative 13. It's not cool. I wanted to have four mana available to be able to avalanche this Anivia away. But right now, I'm hoping the pack mentality maybe gets me there. They only got one Trindomir, so they're out of... Wow, they're out. They are out. Alright, if I cast... If I cast this, I have five more mana, so I could play... Like, this Radiant Guardian first, also. I think we just do it. I think we just go Radiant Guardian pack mentality. What's up? I fight for the just fallen. see what's up. Yeah, the Ruination. That makes sense. Makes sense. So they have to just kill me with this Anivia, huh? Where am I at? Five cards left? Wait, how is that thing still alive? Okay. Hey, Dark Rye. I think that's like their last thing that can kill me. So now it's just do I mill out or not? Um, which means I probably shouldn't play the Redeemer because that takes a card. We're at five. Cast that. I'm really glad I didn't play the Redeemer. I would be I would have lost if I would have played the Redeemer. I think we have a shot. We need one of these two to be a spell. If they're both if they're both creatures were dead, we need one of them to be a spell. And I think one of them's a spell. I think we have like a mobilize or something left. So I think we're good in that that vicinity. Um Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I can't play that. What am I doing? I gets rid of all those three things. I shouldn't have played that. I should have just played those other three things this turn. What am I doing? Forgot that that gets rid of those. No, I should have just played all those. 
Well, no, because we weren't playing one of them. All right, cool. Uh, well. Maybe I did need to play that Redeemer. Get that three points in for that one extra card. Okay, so I have one card in my library. That means I draw it next turn. I don't get the attack token next turn. We know it's not a, an ally, so I have to kill them this turn. So it basically it doesn't really matter that much whether I go for pack mentality or she who wanders, but I got to do one of those. Um, I wish I could do both, but I can't. Yeah, that was that was dumb to play that she who wanders that last turn. Man, this game's so hard. <laughs> All right, so I mean, we just have to go for one of these. Uh, I don't think I can't think of any reason why one is better than the other. Um, I'll just go for this one, I guess. Oh, if they have vile feast, that's why this could be better. No, they do have Vile Feast. I just thought of the reason too. Uh, I guess no. I guess Vile. This wouldn't have saved me from Vile Feast. No, because we wouldn't attack for enough. Never mind. So that doesn't. That doesn't matter. No, Vile Feast just got me. There's no way I played the last couple of turns the best. Right. Like there's. There's got to be something that could have done these last couple of turns that I didn't do. I want to hear the trumpets. Trumpets are cool. Like, I, I avalanche to kill their O2, but then it killed my O2 also. If I, maybe if I don't avalanche then. I was thinking that was like their last thing to kill me, but maybe if I just don't avalanche. I don't know. My brain's just kind of fried from that whole game. That was really tough. So we ran out of cards, lost that way. Um, yeah, the, the War Mother's Mirror, I am really bad in War Mother's Mirrors. I'm like, because like the last, like one of the last times we played a War Mother's deck, I went two and three and I lost all three War Mother's Mirrors. Um, but also all of those, I didn't cast any War Mother's Calls. This time I at least cast War Mother's Call, but it's definitely, the, the mirror is just who plays Catalyst wins, or if you both play Catalyst, you know, who plays more, you know, who gets... Uh, who gets up to I mean, it's just it's just who plays War Mother's Call first I mean, I guess that's really the thing and so if you catalyst first then you get to War Mother's Call first That game we were just completely even we both catalyst the same turn We both War Mother's Call the same turn and then later on we both drew a second War Mother's Call that we played the same turn So we were we were completely even as you see like I just got ran out of cards um, I, I had more card draw and then I, I ran out all the other times I've played War Mother's Mirrors, I've not been even. My opponents have played War Mothers before me, and, and they've won. Uh, the thing that hurt that game a lot was their War Mothers, their first two hits were the Hearth Guards, and so then their, their creatures were just bigger than mine. That was definitely annoying. Um, but... But yeah, that's War Mothers, Tiana. Um, definitely a fun deck, you know. Like we still went, we went three and two. Did a cool, a cool take on on War Mother's Call, and you know something something different to do. Uh, played some really interesting games there for sure. Um, super long five games, very very long games. Uh, but yeah, I liked I liked the changes. I liked the Conservator. Uh, definitely helped us out in in a few s spots, and and Anivia was really good too. I think Anivia was better than Tridermere. And so I think that was a, a good addition, too. <clears throat> anyway, there we go. So that's War Mother's Tiana. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. 
and uh, feel free, you know, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the the new version here for War Mothers Tiana. Um, but that's it uh, for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.